Eastern Gateway Community College has suspended its free college benefit program after violating its rules. Recently, the school was given a new sanction by the Department of Education. I talked with the school's president to learn more. On Monday, Eastern Gateway Community College learned the Department of Education is placing them on heightened cash monitoring, too. This following an investigation into the financing model of the free college benefit programs. That investigation found systematic issues, including discrepancies in accounting records and inadequate internal controls. You have to first go in and credit the Pell Grants to the students and any stipends that they might be owed. And then you request reimbursement. You submit a roster of the students. Before this, the college could request Pell Grants and then credit them to the students. They review it. If everything's in order, then they send us the money. A spokesperson from the Department of Education sent us a statement. In part, it said putting the college on heightened cash monitoring, too, ensures, quote, there is proper documentation prior to the disbursement of federal financial aid. This action does not affect which students are eligible to attend EGCC, and under this status, the school must still ensure students get their financial aid in a timely manner. So this directive came out that is transferring us to heightened cash management too from advanced uh, payment method. EGCC President Michael Gagan says advanced payment is similar to heightened cash management one, which they hope they are put on soon. There's no impact on the students whatsoever. It's just really an impact internally as to how we process and draw down Pell Grant funds. Gagan says it helps that the college is in a positive cash flow state, but they hope they aren't in this any longer than the end of the year or the start of next year. They want us to change how we're doing our free college model. We're going to be submitting them a, a proposal for that, for their review in the near future. And, and they hope to submit that model sometime this week. Gagan says this doesn't affect any current or incoming students.